Uh, my name is Jojo Mondi. I'm the Chapter Secretary, University's Academic Staff Union, University of Nairobi. We are here with my colleagues to thank the government of the Republic of Kenya most warmly, specifically the Chancellor of this university, the Council, Public Service Commission, and the Parent Ministry, that is Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, for the bold decision that they have taken to send the Vice Chancellor of this university home. Staff, students and guardians in this university have suffered for a long time and we have complained for too long over the poor leadership under Professor Mbithi. We are happy that although it has taken quite a bit of time, the time has come for us to experience change. We consider this action as the beginning of the change process to streamline not only the structural but also the human resources management in this institution. This institution actually belongs to a better stature than it is now. And the reason is because we have had very poor leadership. The challenges facing this university are deep-rooted and require immediate and sustained remedial measures. These challenges, which we've talked about repeatedly, include deep-rooted mismanagement, deep-seated corruption, rampant and horrendous abuse of office, abuse of workers' rights, abuse of students' rights, and no respect for academic standards. What the institution requires now is immediate reform to create a lean and efficient management structure, appointment of result-oriented and accountable managers who are responsive to the people and dedicated to effective service delivery. Council and senior managers must remain committed to the revival of the university. Council must ensure that leadership role is assigned to persons with appropriate vision, aspirations, and questionable integrity, accountable, incorruptible, and people who respect the rule of law and have impeccable capability to manage this institution. Going forward, University's Academic Staff Union will remain vigilant at all times to ensure that the University of Nairobi will never again become the dungeon of shame that it has been. What we are saying, ladies and gentlemen, is that the exit of Professor Mbithi is not going to be complete unless the people who come to replace him or the person who comes to replace him will not be like him. We've had many problems. We've suffered immensely. And what we would want to see is appropriate and real change. As a union, we want to stand with our staff and students in this university to celebrate this turnaround because this institution has gone almost to the dogs. As custodians of staff interests, we will not allow that to happen. We expect government going forward to support this institution and ensure that the ills that it has suffered before are not experienced again. Let me ask my colleague to also put in a word. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Constantine Wasonga, National Secretary General Owasu. I want to say that as a union, 
we are in support of what the council has done. And I want to interpret that letter to one Professor Mbithi. The council has technically told you to go and go forever. Don't be cheated that they have given you leeway to apply. Because if you are performing well, they could have renewed your term automatically. That is a polite way of telling you to go and go forever. Our members have suffered immensely under your leadership. You are one vice chancellor who was not remitting study reduce. You are one vice chancellor who made professors leave this university without, without their pension. You are one vice chancellor who was not even paying union dues to the tune of 24 million. I want to wish you well wherever you go. Thank you very much, but don't come back. Kwa jina naitwa Mohamed Mwachiti, mimi naibu wa mwekazina wa kitaifa wa chama cha wafanyikazi uh, kinacho itwa UASU, Universities Academic Staff Union. Kwa siku ya leo, kwetu ni siku ya furaha. Nafikiri mkiangalia hata nyuso zetu leo zina meta meta. Si kama kawaida wakati mnavokuja tukiwa nyuso ambazo zimekunjana. Kama wasimamizi wafanyikazi wa chuo kikucha Nairobi, mwanzo tungetaka kushukuru Jopo la wajiri wa chuo chetu kikuu cha Nairobi. Jopo la wajiri wa wafanyikazi wa umma la kitaifa. Pia tungeshukuru wizara yetu kuu ya elimu, science na teknolojia. Na washikadau wengine katika serikali yetu tukufu inayoongozwa na uh, mheshimiwa Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta kwa kumtuma nyumbani naibu ya kiongozi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi ambaye alikuwa ameshindwa kuongoza chuo hiki. Ni furaha kwetu kwamba vile anavyoenda aende salama na akaribishwe vizuri kule anakoenda ili asahau kwamba alikuwa hapa asije akawa nakumbuka kwa maana tukimuona hapa si tunaona shida tu. Kitendo hiki cha serikali kumtuma nyumbani naibu wa mkuu wa chuo ni mwanzo tu wa kurekebisha matatizo ambayo yamekuwa nakumba chuo hiki. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru kwamba mwanzo mpya umeanza lakini hatutaki kusherehekea mapema kwamba tumefika. Tunataka bado mabadiliko yaendelee ili chuo chetu kirudi pale kilipokuwa. Tumekuwa tukikumbwa na matatizo kadha wa kadha katika chuo hiki. Ikiongozwa na ufisadi, ukabila na matatizo mengi, matatizo chungu nzima tumekuwa na vituko kwamba wafanyikazi wa kiwango cha juu wanaoitwa profesa wanapolazwa hospitalini chuo kinashindwa kulipia profesa ili wao wanaweza kutoka wakati uh, wamepata matibabu wafanyikazi hao wengine wamezuiliwa wanakaa hata wiki tatu ndio baadaye wafanyikazi wengine wanachanga ili waweze kusaidia wengine katika pilka pilka za kuhamishwa kutoka hospitali hii kupelekwa ingine kwa sababu hawajakubaliwa kwa maana chuo kinajulikana kwamba kina historia ya kutolipa wanakufa njiani kwa hivyo tunafurahi kwamba mambo haya yametendeka sasa kwa sababu ni mwanzo wa mambo mapya ambapo pia yatafaidi wafanyikazi wa chuo hiki chuo hiki kinahitaji mabadiliko mengi Na kwa hivyo serikali tunaiomba itushike mkono iendelee kutusaidia jopo letu la uajiri lisimame imara lihakishe yule anayekuja ni mtu ambaye ataweza kututoa katika shimo hili la giza. Tumekuwa kwa shimo la giza kwa muda mrefu na hata ukiangalia mara nyingi hata mnavokuja wana habari hapa mnaona nyuso za wafanyikazi vile zilivyo. Leo ni siku ya furaha kwetu kwa hivyo tungetaka mabadiliko haya yaendelee na kama wasimamizi wa wafanyikazi tutakodoa macho tuhakishe kwamba haturudi mahali tulipotoka asanteni